What's up? What's up? What's up? Everybody. I, 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 D. Hey, y'all. It is your girl, Rita. And I am here to do another video tutorial for you guys. But before we get started, and because I know you love me, go ahead on and hit that like button, honey. Because I know you're going to like this one. Because I ain't in the habit of coming on here wasting my time doing something you ain't going to like. And I ain't going to like. So, um, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, do all the things, all the little oohs and eyes and all that. Okay, so today, y'all, I'm going to be making a lasagna. Now, I have two other lasagnas on my channel. I have a taco lasagna. So good. I did that when I was having a Mexican-themed Christmas one time. And then I have a broccoli and cheese lasagna on there. And I thought I had a, like a nacho mama lasagna. I'm not sure, but just put in lasagna, see where Rita's cooking lasagna, and you'll be able to see my other two lasagnas as well, okay? So I know that you guys know the, the, the premise of a lasagna, right? You know, you got to have your lasagna noodles, you got to have um, some meat. So that's nothing new, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. Let me give me my wooden spoon. Gonna be having to clean up the kitchen afterwards today. But so you know what the premise is for some lasagna. But um it's so easy to change it up to your liking and to your specifications, specifications, okay? So today I'm going to be using ground turkey, because y'all know I'm on a no red meat ministry right now. And so I'm gonna be using ground turkey. Now this is some Jenny O, and it's called seasoned ground turkey, okay? And it's about a dang, I guess I should have looked at that before I messed all up this thing. But it's like a 70-30 blend, maybe. Because I like a little fat in my meat, okay? And we know that turkey can get kind of dry. But I'm gonna be using this ground turkey. Um and then I'll show you a little something that I do to retitize it because, you know, that's what we're here for, retitize, okay? Um, my white uh, layer. Um, so let's just get started. So I'm not going to let y'all watch me do this meat, but I'm going to show you guys what I do with the meat, okay? So let's get down on this stuff and let's get going. All right, so let me, I'm going to put y'all, hold on just a second Okay, you guys, so for my meat layer, I want to get me some onions and some garlic into my pan that I have me some little EVOO in, okay? You can use fresh garlic if you please, but I ain't got time to be pressing no garlic all out, child. I be trying to get in here and get out of here. It's about convenience. They done minced it for me in the stove. That's the one I want, okay? So... We're going to put up some garlic, I mean some garlic and onions in here. Don't just let them get translucent and get fragrant. And then we're going to add our uh, ground turkey or ground beef or whatever you're going to be using. That's up to you. You can use ground chicken, you know, whatever you decide. Now, y'all know I ain't measuring nothing. Y'all know how I do it over here. But y'all know a good rule of thumb with meat is two tablespoons per pound of whatever meat you're using. Today I have, let me see, one, two, three, four pounds, okay, of this um, delicious uh, turkey. So we're just going to let that get fragrant because we know that we don't want that um, garlic to be burning. So we're going to just let it get, you know, you know how I like to let them get, fill on each other and, become boyfriend and girlfriend and stuff like that. So let them do their little thing. I've got this on a pretty high heat because all I'm doing right now, you guys, is I'm just mixing my stuff together and then the magic will take further action in the oven, right? That's why I come on my um, uh, lasagna noodles. I cook them just until they're bendable and pliable. I don't cook them for the, the whole time that it says on the package. And you know, um, a couple of times I have just let them sit in hot, hot water 
just out of my faucet, let them sit in hot, hot water, and do all of my prep, and then they'll, they'll be pliable enough if you do that okay but that's a preference as well if you want to cook your noodles all the way if you want to get those uh other ones that you don't have to um cook but i just don't like that hardness i just don't i don't trust that hardness <laughs> of that noodle going into that um oven just like that i just don't like it it just don't feel right okay so now this is where you can be so creative, you guys, with your meat mixture, okay? Um, today, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Like I said, I'm going to be doing the, the ground turkey. I'm going to be seasoning it with stuff that's, that's uh, you know, pretty common when we're doing Italian. You know, we got to have some garlic. We got to have some basil, onion, and stuff like that. So, you season according to your taste. But what I'm going to be using is salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, um, basil, and Italian seasoning. Uh, actually, I'm not going to use that basil. I'm going to put that basil in with my ricotta mixer, mixture, but it was over there, so I picked it up. And then I just remembered. Girl, you ain't putting that in here. So, in here, I'm going to put me just a dash of hot pepper because y'all know I'm just, you know, how I like that. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then I'm going to do me some onion powder, some garlic powder, some salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, okay? And the same thing on your seasoning. I do about a tablespoon per pound of meat. But, of course, if you have restrictions on your diet and things of that nature, use what you need to use. I'm not trying to send nobody to the hospital with no gout, no leg, no high blood pressure and stuff. I'm not trying to do that. That's not what I'm here for. Okay, so you know your restrictions. I don't. I'm just showing you how I do it at my house. Take some of it. Apply it. Rita ties it. Colleen ties it. Ronald ties it. Joan ties it. Mel ties it. Y'all know what to do. Okay, ain't no babies up in here. Ain't got no kids up in here. It ain't, this, this ain't, this ain't a channel for kids, okay? Because you never know what might come out of my mouth. <laughs> you never know what might go in it either. But that's, uh, <laughs> neither, neither here nor there. Keep going. Okay, it's just a little salt, you guys, okay? You have to have salt. Uh, even if it's a low restriction salt, whatever. Salt just wakes up the flavor of food. Now, you know I'm not going to make you watch me cook this. Okay, when this gets done, I'll come back and I'll show you my tomatoes and things that I'm using in there, okay? Like that. Actually, while that meat is uh, doing what it's going to do, cooking, let's work on our white sauce. I'm going to put a, ric a ricotta. I ordered a bigger one, but they gave me this one. I, I normally like the 32-ounce, uh, um, but I get whole milk ricotta cheese, okay? Um... But this is definitely, I know, what is this? Is this like 15 ounces or something like that? I usually get the big one. Um, I usually get the big one, but that's okay. I'll make it do what it do because I put some stuff in here with that. Okay, so then I put an egg in here. Right? Just like that. All right, and then I put me some um, Italian blend. Um, cheese in here as well some Italian blend cheese and some um, Parmesan like you can use fresh Parmesan uh, but I just use this package right here it's Parmesan and Romano okay and I just give me a good amount probably about a fourth of a cup or something like that I do the same thing with some Italian cheese okay Same thing. And then if it's too stiff, I'll add some milk to it or something like that. But I'm just going to stir it right now. The seasoning that I'm going to use, that's why I put that basil back. I'm going to put me some basil in here. And I'm going to put me some uh, salt and pepper in here for this layer, okay? And you want to make sure you stir up this really good because you don't want that egg to end up. I should have had a bigger bowl, but I'm being lazy today, girl. Don't judge it. It's going to get all done what it needs to be dumped. Okay? Don't you worry your head about it. 
Give me a little basil. Basil is pretty strong, so be careful if that's not a taste that you um, are familiar with on that basil, okay? We're going to put up some salt and pepper in here as well. Lord, I hate to, y'all know I hate reaching over y'all, but I'm sorry. I had to do it that time. I had to. The devil made me do it. I said the devil made me do it. Oh. I'm going to have a mess. Let me see if I can get me. It's probably this big, big old spoon in this little bowl, child. What is you doing, sis? Okay, so that's how I do this mixture. I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to let this meat finish, and then I'm going to show you what else I do, okay? Hold on. Okay, you guys, that uh, turkey, you see that? I didn't drain it. There's no liquid in there. Now, I've never used that one. I usually, this one, I usually use the one in the little tube, the Jenny O uh, turkey, uh, seasoned turkey or Italian uh, turkey. Um... So that one don't have no moisture. That's okay, because we're gonna add some. Now I'm gonna be adding my uh, tomatoes of choice. Now this is a can of 28 ounces, I think. Let me see. I don't know, I ain't got my glasses on, but. Yeah, 28 ounces of tomatoes. These are some, I think this is diced. I usually like crushed, but this is what I had. It doesn't matter. Tomato, tomatoes, whatever. And then I'm going to add my favorite um, pasta sauce. You can add any kind you want. I'm going to be adding a... How many ounces is this? 24 ounce of Hunt's uh, pasta sauce. This pasta sauce is very good. It has a really good taste to it. And I think it costs a dollar and something at most places. Um, sometimes 99 cents at uh, some some places, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to see what that looks like. You want this to have some body to it, but you don't want it to be too wet, okay? You want your la um, your layers to be distinctive and you be able to tell, you know, what's in that layer, what's in that layer. So you don't want this to be too wet, okay? And what I do is I let this kind of, you know, hang out and cook a little bit, get all incorporated, get a little bit thicker, you know, that's what I do. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go over here and we're going to start um, getting our, start getting my pan ready and stuff like that. Some else I probably don't have to show y'all, but I'm trying to keep it as uh, short as I can. So that's what you do to your meat mixture, okay? And then I'm going to get everything set up for us to do our layers, okay? Be right back. Okay, guys, as you can see, I've already um, sprayed my pan, and I've put me some of that meat mixture down at the bottom. Now, y'all, I don't know what's wrong with these noodles, and y'all know how I have OCD about how stuff look. But these noodles, all the ridges came off the edges. I've never seen such a thing. Now, I don't know what that's about, but I'm trying not to freak out too bad because y'all know about me and stuff looking how it look. So I'm just going to try to make this, this is just a weeknight meal, so I'm not going to trip out about it. But you just put you some noodles on top of that, on top of your meat mixture, okay? And some of them just, just was just falling all the way apart. I was like, what is wrong with these noodles? I tasted it, they taste fine, but I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't no special brand or nothing. It was just some old lasagna noodles. I don't know, y'all. Don't make me lie. Okay, so y'all know how to do this, right? So we're just gonna do that. Give me one at the bottom, right there. I'll trim it out later. So this is gonna be our first layer. Our first layer is gonna be the meat sauce, okay? Okay, get you a good amount, okay? This is gonna dry out in the oven too because I'm gonna also be putting some cheese in this layer, right? Of course I am, of course I am, you ladies and gentlemen. 
spread this out a little bit okay now I'm, I'm also gonna put me some shredded cheese in this layer on this layer as well don't let this tie you up just go ahead on and spread that out everything will spread out some more when it when it cooks okay you want it to be easy right i'm gonna put mozzarella in between my layers okay and i'm gonna do um, my italian blend and my tri triple cheddar on the top now we don't want to do too much okay we just want to get us a little little bit so we'll say oh you put a little cheese in it did ya but that's a lot of meat so i don't <laughs> Here I go digging my hand in there again after saying what I said. Still said what I said, though. Now we're going to do another. Am I reaching in too in front of y'all too much? Okay. You want to overlay, but then you don't want to, you know, give a little room in there. Okay. Don't get mad if your noodles break. <laughs> Maybe I didn't... Um, but you call it when I didn't um what you call that word? Let them get pliable enough and then they started disintegrating. I don't know. That has never happened to me. But I mean I mean breaking, breaking like break dance, okay? You're gonna go right there, baby. You still gonna get you, sweetie. So I don't know why you're trying to break. Because you're gonna get eight today. So you might as well go on and take this uh okay. We're gonna put us our ricotta mixture on this one, okay? Just like this. I'm gonna be making a salad with this, you guys. But I love to add a vegetable into my um, into my lasagna. And today I'm gonna be adding me just some uh, spinach leaves right with this ricotta mixture right on top of it, and it'll cook in the oven, okay? So we're just gonna spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. I'm gonna put us some more mozzarella cheese in here. If you have big hunks of, you know, that big fresh slices of mozzarella, that's good as well uh, to use in your lasagna. I think I've done that one time, and I just didn't find it uh, a big enough deal <laughs> for me to do it over and over and over, you know? Like, it didn't make it that much different from what I was used to and what I had grown up with. So, I just, I never did it again. It, it just didn't. And I had it cut and everything at the, by the butcher and everything. I was like, I'm going to give me some fresh mozzarella. I did it, I did it up, did it up, but I just didn't, it didn't give what it was supposed to have been given, okay? So then we're going to do this. I don't know why I'm tripping so hard on that. Okay, I'm just going to put me some leaves, just the whole leaf, okay, right out of the thing, just like this, just like this. No big deal. Spread it out, okay? And then we're going to get that shredded mozzarella, and we're going to go right on the top of this, this um, spinach, right? See what I'm saying? Are you smoking what I'm rolling today? Are you, you, pa you just passing? You ain't puff puffing, you just passing? Come on. I'm telling y'all something. I'm telling y'all some stuff, Okay. Then we're going to put us some mozzarella, right? And then I'm going to finish it out. I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven for about 35 to 45 minutes, you guys, okay? We want it to be cooked good. We want it to get a little stiff. And we want to, you know, we want to make sure everybody has had time to get married and had time to know each other. You know what I'm saying? Bone chicka, bone bone, then bone 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 bone. Okay, there you go. 
Hopefully I don't get in trouble for saying it. Sure. Y'all just gotta know who I am to know who I am. That's just it. It's no serious vibes over here. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up and we're gonna put it in the oven. When y'all see me next time, it'll be ready. Okay, I decided to show y'all my top layer. So see, I end with a, a top layer of meat, okay? I come in and I just dollop this down on there, the remaining, remaining little bit, okay? It's not a lot. Just dollop it here and there. Just like this. No big deal, okay? Then I take me some shredded cheese, okay? Just like this. I just want it to be here and there, dolloped all through there, you know? Right there with the meat sauce, okay? We ain't leaving, huh? For what? For the baby lasagna? It's gonna be baked later. No, ain't nothing left. Okay, so there we go with that. Mm, so good. Now we're gonna take our cheeses that you wanna do to the top. And I always do a different cheese on the top than whatever I have on the inside. That's just something I've been doing for years. But of course, you can just keep this really classic and just do all mozzarella and it's gonna be just as good. Uh, you know, no big deal. But I just do Italian style on the top. I cheese it up really, really good on the top. Um, because, mm -hmm, why not? Okay. Give me some, a little bit of that, Ramona. Okay, just like that. Then I gotta put me some yellow cheese on there because it just looks good <laughs> when it bakes up with that yellow cheese mixed in there, okay? So there we go, just one good handful here and there. Wherever we got blank spots that we're gonna come in here with our, this is my ch triple cheddar. I trip every time I say that, you know? I mess up every time. Just like that, y'all, and then it's just gonna bake up, like I say, to some good old delicious goodness. I hope that it's not a wet lasagna because I love it when you can see the layers, that just means I just, that's just a successful, let's take that off the side. It's just a successful um, lasagna to me when it has that, um, you can see those layers, okay? So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to work out while this cooks and we'll be ready in a little bit. Okay, y'all, hey, so I cooked this lasagna about uh, 40 minutes and then I cooked it uncovered for about seven minutes okay and then I let it sit for about 15 minutes because I did want it to have that block you know I wanted it to be in a block now I don't know if it's gonna do it or not but we're gonna see okay just gonna test this sucker out see what we got in here see how I put the little uh little couple of pieces of um spinach on the top now that's still acting like it don't come out that good, but I ain't gonna act crazy. It definitely did. I did let it cool off good. I usually am not good about doing that part. I be digging into it before. Let's see, can y'all see? Bring y'all down some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what we got up in here, y'all. I want a slice, but I got a feeling. Maybe I will get a slice, you guys. Let's see. Look at that. I did get a slice. I got a slice. Yay. I got a slice. Okay, so let's taste it. See what it tastes like. Pray, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we spent together with each other, me with my service, them with me. God, we ask that if anybody is going through anything, God, you just touch that situation. And if you don't fix the situation right away, you give us the strength that we need to go through the situation. And God, we ask that you continue to watch over and protect each and every one of us. Continue to be in the gap for 
uh, stand in the gap for us when we don't even know what to do or where to go, God. We just thank you. And now we bring this food to you, and we ask that you bless this food. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Mm, yeah. Amen. Ooh, it's hot, y'all still blowing. I thought it was going to be a little bit cool. I've been knitting shit. Mmm. 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 Now. Mmm. Ooh. Let me, y'all see this mess had to go in the pound here. I got on that treadmill, honey. And it wasn't no. It wasn't going to. Mm -mm. Uh uh. That hair wasn't going to be able to stay down. Baby, this got a delicious taste to it. I love the taste of this. Lasagna, can you go wrong, though, with cheese and noodle and sauce? You really can't go wrong. Okay, y'all, I'm not going to stand here long. I got other stuff to do. Um, but I want to bring you guys another video. I'm trying to stay true to my video, one video a week. And y'all are doing so good. Thank you so much for all the likes. Thank you, guys, for your prayers for my daughter. Remember, she will be going into the hospital April the 12th. And we will be there three to five days. And so that's a big um, that's a big thing that's going on. And pray, you guys, that we hear from infectious disease really soon. Um, I thought I would have heard from them by now. And I'm just, you know, I'm always nervous now that another infection is going to occur. But the prayers of the righteous. And, and I, I thank you guys for touching and agreeing with me and with her about her situation. I appreciate that more than you guys will ever know. I thank you for uh, supporting this channel so that this little money can help me when I'm at the hospital and I can't work, you know, because I don't get paid when we're in the hospital um, with her. So, you know, I just appreciate you guys and I love y'all. Some of y'all, I just love y'all just like I know y'all, like we hang out, and, and I just appreciate everything. So don't think that I take it for granted because I don't take it for granted. But make sure you make you some of this turkey lasagna. Mmm. Mmm. My God, it is delicious. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'll see you guys on the next one when we see what we're cooking. Love you.